looked like that he hung himself up on there, but he spit at me. So then I lit him up. I told him what was going to happen. I was waiting for one of the house guys to come by with the barrel. See, at lunchtime, they come by with the barrel for your tray. I was trying to con one of them and, hey, turn your back. I need to get something out of the barrel, but he wouldn't do it. I was going to stick him in a barrel, but rigor mortis kicked in. Couldn't do it. Do I have remorse for this? No. Am I on a suicide mission? No. My thing is, I'm not throwing this out as a threat. It is what it is. If you guys give me life, sooner or later I have to go to population. I'm not Armstrong. I'll sign any kind of waiver you want beforehand, whatever's legal, saying I will not appeal this death penalty. Wash my hands with it. Send me to Sussex. But if I get life, I'll end up in population sooner or later. Someone's going to get it. it. ain't going to be an inmate. I don't give a rat's ass if a fucking nun went by. I ain't going to do it half-ass like Lamont Douglas or the other clowns did. Now, you guys take that off. Wallens Ridge could have present, uh, prevented a death. My fault. It's my fault. The only remorse I have, my kids got to deal with their father being a scumbag. But since I got messed with, the only way to prevent me from fucking taking someone else out it's to get the death penalty. Do I deserve the death penalty? Damn right it is. Your law states premeditation, inmate killing. There's a lot more that's going to be said on this stand when it does go to trial. If it wasn't for my kids, I'd, I'd take Lonnie's deal. Lonnie says it's second degree with no time. You ain't sweeping this underneath there. And I do have contacts with my club through media, not the one that the Dean of Potter we're talking about. I was like, I want this to be known. It was premeditated. And you guys can do to me to hurt me. Nothing. But there's something you guys can do to prevent someone else from getting hurt. It's, your, it, it's on you. You know what I mean? It's on you guys. Put the death back on. Let the jury hear it and go with it. After that's over with, I'll be cuffed everywhere I go at Sussex. Leave me alone. I'm going to push this to go through all, right away. It might be a couple of years. But I can't guarantee nothing will happen to another, another staff member. That's my word. Take that for whatever you think it's worth. Put a letter for this guy's family, you know what I mean, by, yeah, you guys may think he's crazy, but you know what, he couldn't help it. I did everything I could to not to kill this man. But when he played games, I planned it. You know what I mean? I was, I was taunting him. Yeah, it's coming. All these rules you should have went by, it's coming, Holmes. I even gave him a cigarette, like, here you go, compadre. Enjoy that motherfucker. Well, I got no remorse for it. Zero. Let me ask you a question if you want to answer it and you don't have to. If you had a chance today to prevent a, another death, wouldn't you do it? You don't have to answer it, but if you'd, if you'd say no, I'd call you a liar. You know, here's your chance for one death that shouldn't have happened. You have a chance to stop another one. I feel justice would be served for that man. Because that man shouldn't have been in, in my cell, no matter what he did in his past. Someone should have helped him. Because I don't do what I gotta do from being fucked with before. That's the only yeah. way to stop it. And now he's saying there's no way you get the death penalty, and I'm like. And I use this guy as um, like a security partner, like an ace in the hole. I did someone a favor. They're gonna do me a favor to make August 31st. I don't get it. And um, someone up here ain't gonna have a good ride home. Okay. Yeah. So, elaborate a little bit here. What you did a I, favor? I did a favor taking this clown out. Okay. So, so somebody owes you a favor. Yeah. What you're telling me? Fucking hey. Cooper tick somebody out basically. Oh yeah, you tick a lot of people out. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I was telling them before all that shit went down. Like, look, man, these these motherfuckers. This is the one that they're calling you rats right on this guy's family, and you're still talking on why. You know, you come to me, you know, asking for favors and this and that. There's, there's a lot more to it. I ain't going to get into it right now. Okay. And I'm going to keep a lot of stuff back well, right well, now. you tell me this much. Yeah. How did you talk him into uh, doing this in the break cage? I got my wings. You know. No, tell me. Not, not, not at this point. Okay. You know, I respect you, that. You, I just, you, you and I will sit down. You know, it's a dialogue, so got Okay. Uh, can you tell me where the road and stuff came from? Yeah, from me. From you? Okay. Did you bring it out with you when you came out? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, did I bring it bring it up? When no, you came out from no, the I gave it to somebody to, to, to make it for me. And they left it out there for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, once they got out there, you helped him. But he wasn't going to do it on his own. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, you got an old world help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When the I find out he's a useful piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I found, you know, I've done the forensic yeah. So uh, I found two knots on the your side of the cage there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we we'll, we'll loop around through the cage. That's very easy. Yeah. But both of those were pretty loose. So uh, did you tie those or did he tie them? Oh, he didn't even touch it. He didn't touch it. He didn't touch it. Okay. Did he put them loose around his neck? Yeah. Okay. Did any of the other inmates say anything? One of them glanced over at me. I told him I had his fucking business. So I'm kidding for a tie. Okay. And uh, basically, uh, after it happened, did you go back to the inmate? Did you go back to Cooper again and tug on the rope? Yeah. Okay. Well, I wait till you get knocked out. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna play games with this motherfucker. He started breathing and went over. He started doing it again. Just, just, uh, you know. I mean, you ain't going off that easy. Yeah. You know. And then uh, nobody said anything until the officer came around. Basically, they, I told them, you know, mind the business, and they did. You know, I mean, a couple of guys, kind of, one guy kind of knows about who I am and stuff like that. He, you know, I mean, they ain't stupid. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't blame them. You know. I understand. Anything else you want to tell me? Anything you want to add to it? Mm -hmm. Is it open cell? <laughs> Could I ask you a question, man? Did, did Cooper know he was going to die today? If he did, I don't think he would have put it around his neck. No, he did not know he was going to die today. Okay. Yeah. I told him I was going to make a necklace for him. A religious necklace. And then he sat down. I said, yeah, well, you know, we got cages. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. it looks like a punk way to do something, yeah. but it's the only way I can get my hand on somebody. Yeah. I know I'm there, but I have a population, and he really yeah. pissed me the fuck off. So when he sat down, he put the noose around his to He did. It was supposed to be a necklace. Yeah, he did. I said, hey, look, at put this around your neck. I got to mind this off. But don't yeah. kill me. <laughs> fuck. And then he just grabbed the whole yeah. rope part yeah. of it. Yeah. I don't even know why you tried to see God. He was a purple body. Okay. So he'd been there a few minutes before they found him. He did a fucking 45 minutes. Okay. You know, and Gilmore dropped his fucking head. Just, you know, I mean, you, we, we pretty much stopped straight out. Yeah. Uh, did you do this today to prove a point? Oh, yeah. I, I definitely did this to prove a fucking point. And that right point it. was? I still didn't get to and uh, this here is the ace in the hole for somebody else to do something when you know. Uh, basically, what you told me before that you you know that you get people inside and yeah. tell you made your point. It's pretty, you know yeah. it's pretty hard to get someone from cage to cage. Yeah. You know if I can do that. I understand. You know. okay. The thing is, I, I I'm hoping we can probably saying, well, you're trying to rush us here. I'm trying to get this done so I can get this ready for court. And then once this is over with, I'm done with this whole thing. I don't want to be bothered with, leave the fuck alone. I'm done. I'm done. You know, uh, Bledsoe and Rivers know how long it took, well, Bledsoe and Lonnie Kern know how long it took on the Armstrong case? Six years. Mm -hmm. Six years. This is what happened with Cooper. When I got mad at him, I'll do this to him or his mother, whatnot. Then about a week went by, I'm like, look, dog, we good. And I was just a little bit upset. Then I said, well, you're trying to get a lawsuit, ain't you? He said, yeah. So well, how about this? Let me put a, a noose around your neck. You pretend you pass out. First, it started off that he was going to be trying to work out, sit down because he was tired, and I was going to do a fucking Roy Rogers on him, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the odds on that really happening, the way those red cages are like fucking slim to none. Right. So I go, look it. I explain to him how we're going to do it. And I said, look it, when we get out there, I'm going to ask you certain questions so you can pass a polygraph. I was bullshitting them. You know what I mean? So when I, when I get you out there and say, hey, I'm making me a religious necklace. Can I put it around your neck? And he's like, sure. 
You know what I mean? And then I then he yelled out to um, Sparrow because I asked Sparrow, so what do you remember? I was I wasn't trying to lead Sparrow. Right. But I had I had to tell him, so didn't you remember him saying that? I finally had to get him. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Anyways, he yells to Sparrow, hey, how big is your junk? Whatever they, they call junk, like the cross thing. And he said, that's big and this and that. And I said, now, you ready? He goes, yeah. So he sat down, the last words were, don't kill me. He did not know he was gonna get killed. That's why they were saying all this. I'm like, where the hell would they get this assisted suicide shit? Last words, don't kill me. I sent out a letter to State Police McClanahan. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sent him a letter July 28th. Yeah. yeah. Remember, that's why I come over here yep. because Marcus was gone. Yep. Um, like I said. But basically, Cooper's thing was he was going to get a transfer to Lobster down there. He thought. Yeah. Say, uh, okay, because I think you told me that once before, but well, no, sure. you you guys brought it up to me before, and I'm like, yep, someone's talk. I'm sure you see, you see an expression on my face. You know what I mean? I'm like, he's a right. motherfucking someone's talking. Son of a bitch! How many people did he tell? Well, you know? Yeah. And um, so I was trying to like, well, kind of. You, you know, I was beating around the bush. You know, I was bullshitting. Even I knew you guys. You know what I mean? Come on. He was, he was trying to get the lawsuit, okay. and it wasn't assisted suicide, he wasn't trying to kill himself, but um, that there, I think, is going to kill his mother's lawsuit. Okay. Or, well, won't get as much, I guess. Um, I'm trying to talk to Cooper's mother's attorney now, Mary Lynn Tate. Um, I'm going to say, well, yeah, I, I warned him, but the thing is, he, he was trying to I get a lawsuit. He was gonna do pass out thing. This is the thing I told him to hold his breath, pass out, because what's yeah. gonna happen is, is I'm sure Yates is gonna ask you, or you can offer a polygraph test, and you can pass it. You can pass it. Gleason ask you, hey, I'm making a religious nexus. Can I put this on you? Because these are the things I did. I ran it through him, so he could pass it. Right. You know what I mean? And um, he was like, all right. I said, now. Did it say, I choked you up? What you got to do? You got to hold your breath. That's why he didn't fight. He passed out. I said, take a deep breath, then hold it, and I'll just tighten it up. And as soon as he went out, that's when I yanked him. Little D, the reason why he did this with his ear, because he knew before we went out there, I said, look it, I want you to stay in that corner, right, so the camera don't see you. Once he's completely done that you think, just go like this with your ear. He was so nervous, he started running around the track. I, I'm like, oh my, I'm laughing at him. I, I'm like, God damn, dude. I said, hey, Daisy, dead. Pull on your ear. And that's when he went like, <laughs> like that. He almost pulled the goddamn ear off. Well, because, it, you know, I wanted to kill a little bastard. And right now, he doesn't realize I was going to kill him. I'm sure when he knew I was getting mad at Cooper, and he, he backed out. He was. Lil D was gonna let me put the noose around his neck. I was gonna kill him. And then when Cooper started his shit, I'm like, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. I think you know what, Bob? I'm kind of upset. I don't think I want you to put that around my neck. <laughs> and he said that. And I can, I can get all this out on tape. Now let, let me ask you something. Is that Aiden in the bed? Him making that all that? Probably the coffin come with. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a call above above my pay grade. Yeah. I mean if. He made it. He knew it. That's that, that's something that they'll they'll like I said. Somebody yeah. above my pay grade will have to make that decision. Because if they do charge them, I would like to get a whole video on me on a test whatever. Because after this is over with, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry you're tired of this crap, I. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are tired of coming up here too.